marching with them and living among them. The earth trembled, heavens poured down rain. Alleluia. O God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heavens poured down rain. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we gather today, we, say, we celebrate St. Adelbert, and St. Adelbert is a pretty popular saint here at Blessed Sacrament uh, with a lot of our folks who have Polish heritage. So as we enter into this celebration, we want to remember St. Adelbert and ask for his intercession and prayers, but also we ask for God's love and mercy to touch our hearts and to heal us of our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God the Father's right hand who intercedes for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who bestowed the crown of martyrdom on the Bishop St. Adelbert, as he burned with zeal for souls, Grant, we pray, by his prayers, that the obedience of the flock may never fail the shepherds, nor the care of the shepherds be ever lacking to the flock. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had killed him by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. The Lord confronts evil doers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor, 
He saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Because you have seen me, says the Lord, blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard. But no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I like the line that God doesn't ration the Spirit. And I think that's really important for all of us. And also a moment of testimony. We testify to God. We testify on his behalf. We do that by how we pray, by our actions and our words. Actions and words. Actions speak volumes. I will talk about this time in and time out about our, uh, our actions, especially during my homilies. This is a great time to reflect really upon our actions. How do we treat one another? Whether we're driving on the road and even our attitude and our language. Sometimes you can see people screaming and yelling at one another and the language that we use. One of the things I was focusing on is just how we use the Lord's name in vain. How awful, how awful we use God's name in condemning and damning and putting people down. You know, I just think about that testimony. What are we saying? What are we doing? It's just a moment for us to really take account of who we are and what we're about. You know, the, the John's Gospel really calls attention to that light and darkness but also about who we are and what we say and what we do. So I'm going to call our attention to reflect and really ask, are we even aware? Sometimes people will say, I have fallen into a habit. Well, that's a habit we need to break. That's a habit we need to break if we're using poor language and we get out of control and we don't really keep in touch with how we treat people and the way we act. We need to really look at that. And so I'm going to call your attention to that today. What words do we use? What actions do we use? You know, cutting someone off on the highway, what good is that? I, I don't see if that solved anything. I don't see whether that added any productive moment to your day. 
I mean, I could go on and on and on. And I think it's a moment in which, you know, John's gospel calls us. We need the Spirit, and he doesn't ration it. We need the Spirit, and we need to be productive in our words. Believe me, uplifting words. I think of all of those wonderful signs. Heroes work here, right down the street. Makes a difference to the people entering the building, the people working in that building, the people that are embracing those words, words and actions, folks, make a huge difference. Yeah, the signs that we're holding, the signs that we're using, the words that we use. So I think you get it. I think we have some uh, stuff to think about, and let's bring that all to prayer today so that uh, we can make a difference in our world through our words and actions. Amen. So we bring our prayers and our needs to the Lord, and we ask the Lord to hear us. I'm going to pray, especially for all of you, that as we go through this difficult time, we take some moments of good prayer time, good personal reflection, to really embrace um, being good witnesses to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And I want to pray for families. Uh, my families, especially uh, at Blessed Sacrament, my families and my teachers and, and everything uh, that's going on, and I can't help but pray for those families. And, and this can be a, a wonderful time to reconnect and spend family time, but it can be also some challenges for mom and dad and, and the kids Let's pray for uh, families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, I'm always thinking and praying for the sick. I'm always praying for uh, different parishioners who may be sick uh, due to cancer and struggling with recovery from cancer. I'm also thinking people who uh, obviously have the virus and anyone who's sick, that the healing hand of the Lord will be upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And uh, I want to pray for uh, EMTs, doctors, nurses, firemen, policemen, all of those who are on the front lines. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And I know that uh, during this time, unemployment is high. People are struggling to make ends meet. Let's really pray for them and that we can get back to life, to a normal life again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And again, uh, I want to also remember anyone who's lost a loved one due to the virus or any type of death, that those families who mourn and miss their loved ones will be comforted. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you don't ration that spirit. Send that spirit so that through our words and actions, we can witness to you. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread that we offer you, which earth is given and human hands have made. Let it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my offering and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. May the offering that we bring in commemoration of blessed Adelbert be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, so that we may be pleasing to your majesty, just as the shedding of this martyr's blood was precious in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, St. Adelbert, poured out like Christ to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth as before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. And he gave it to his disciples and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy and all of you, God's holy people. And we remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And today we're going to remember Kathleen Miller and G Greg Berzinski. Bring them and all who have died into your mercy and welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. And so we place our 
our presence in God, in God and we call upon his holy name as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to all of your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of that peace. So spiritual peace be with all of you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. And let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, give us the determination which made your blessed martyr, St. Adelbert, faithful in your service and victorious in his suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We turn to the Blessed Mother and we pray for her intercession as we pray. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Chestahova, pray for us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a great day, everybody. Happy Easter, everyone, and I want to extend a great big thank you to all of you who have mailed in your checks and all of those wonderful donations to help keep uh, Blessed Sacrament going. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, in these difficult times, it does make a difference. We still um, have needs here at Blessed Sacrament, and I appreciate every one of you who has stepped up and made those donations to certainly help us during this time. Remember, if you're not able to give at this time, we totally understand these are difficult times. And if you're unemployed or you're having a tough time making it, just realize we need your prayers as well. 
So let's keep everyone in prayer. Let's appreciate and thank those who have contributed and will continue to contribute both in financial assistance as well as in prayer. So as we gather during this difficult time, just to remember that we're all in this together. Thank you.